Hi there, um, last year I made this uh, vending machine. Um, I made it so when the grandchildren come to visit, rather than give them a packet of sweets out of the cupboard, I could give them a two pence piece, they could come along here and get their own packet of Smarties. Um, so after I made it, I, um, I just did a very short video and put it up on YouTube. Um, basically just to show friends and family the vending machine. At that time I didn't realise that less than less than a year later it would have almost 15,000 views and, and lots of really nice comments. Um, in those comments there were, there's actually been quite a lot of people asking if I have any plans for it, if I've done a build video. Um, well I didn't at the time. Uh, there were no plans, I just built it out of my head. And of course a lot of it was trial and error. Um, but there's been so many people asking for plans and a build video that I thought I'd do one. So um, as there were no plans I actually stripped this down. Um, you then taken all the individual parts, I've, I've drawn them, I've taken the measurements and I've now actually drawn some plans. And then when I put it back together I've done a video of that. Uh, so we've now got a build video. So if anybody would like to build one of these, um, there's a link in the description to to the plans. They're free. Um, just bear in mind that I'm not an expert at drawing plans, and I'm not an expert at doing videos. So um, you, know, you just got to take it as it comes, and hopefully you can use the plans and the video to um, to build one of these. Now the coin mechanism that's at the top of the box, um, that is not in the plans. This part is not in the plans. Um, that, there's a video on YouTube um, posted by Jose Pino on this part and I've just taken his information and built that. So again in the description I've put a link to Jose Pino's video on how to make this part of the um, the coin mechanism but all the rest there um, is in the plans it's in the video and um, as you can see you can get a, a packet of smarties from it so if you'd like to make one please download the, the plans have a go if you have a go post um, pictures or a video of what you've done also bear in mind, there's many different ways of building a vending machine. This is just the way I happen to do it. So if, if when you're building one you can come out with a better idea, an improvement on this, please feel free to do that. And if you do it, again take pictures, make a video and post it so anybody else can maybe add the improvements that you had. So um, let's now get on with the build video and good luck if you have a go. To start with we're using T, T1, T2 and T3. Um, these are going to be fastened together in that format. Now I've already got my holes all drilled and countersunk. Um, so I'm going to be using those same holes. Obviously you're going to have to drill and count and sink your own holes. That now gives us the basic chassis, T1, T2 at the back, T3 on the other side. Next we're going to use T4 and T5. So T4 is 
going on the front there and T5 is going on the other side. So now you can put tubes of sweets in and you can let them down to the bottom. That's your main, main chassis of the whole bending mechanism. And the next parts to go on are um, T6 and T7. And T6 and 7 go up on the inside. And for these, um, I'm using number four screws, four millimeter screws, sorry. So that adds this bit to the bottom. Um, this piece is going to be where the the, this, the, uh, the sweets eject, and this rounded bit is going to allow them to go round in the mechanism. The next stage is to assemble um, C1, 2, 3, and 4 which is going to make the coin slot which gets the, the coin down to the actual mechanism. Um, these are just simply screwed together. Again you're going to have to drill your pilot holes and everything. But mine are already drilled. There we have the uh, finished coin slot, so the coins will go in the top, top fall down to the bottom. Then we can bring the chassis back in, because this is going to go on here, and we'll slide up and down. We can then take CSBT, which is going to fasten to this top. And I can find the holes. And CSBB So the coins will fall down and then as part of the eject mechanism this will raise to allow the coin to fall into the, into the collection box. Uh, the next thing um, is L1 and L2. Uh, L2 as you can see I've already screwed um, onto L1. Now in the plans L1 
XIL2 is basically squared off. Um, you may find that you have to angle it a little bit to clear this mechanism, but I would suggest you, you only do that once you've got the, uh, the mechanism all put together and see how much you need to do. This is then going to be held onto the main chassis with a number three screw, a three millimeter screw and a small washer. This fastens onto here. And it's not tightened up completely because it has to move up and down. It has to pivot. So the coin will fall onto there, which will lift the lock up. Now as you can see on mine, you can see on the video, um, I've, I've needed to give a little bit of weight, so I've just used a number four screw and I've actually put um, a couple of uh, nylock nuts on there just to make sure that it always falls down. So again you'll have to uh, experiment to make, uh, make yours work correctly. The next things we're going to put on is CL1. Now CL1 fastens to the bottom of the, the coin slot. See that the CL1 just fastens just to the bottom of the coin slot. Next, we take blocks one and two, and just one goes straight on the other, screws go straight through into these holes. Just make sure I can find them. These are just to, to bring CL2 up to the right level. So again if you can see, two blocks just go across there. This screw is to prevent, to prevent it go, the, the, the next piece going any lower. So we can now take CL2 and that fastens into there. Now again this has to pivot, so you don't want to over tighten this. So that screw there prevents it going any lower. And then we can take CL3 and we can fasten these. One part to CL1, the other bit to CL2. Again, just loosely so that they can pivot. And then hopefully you can see there. They pivot. So that is going to be the, um, as the coin falls here and lifts the lock, when the, when the uh, knob is turned to release the sweets, this is lifted up, which allows the coin to fall off, and then eventually falls back down into its position.
Next we can look at the actual pieces that uh, are going to allow the ejection mechanism to work. So we've got the three discs. So I'm going to start by screwing a small round one onto this one. So just two screws. Now the thing to remember with this is don't screw them together until you've got the mechanism working because you need to be able to rotate these into different positions so that all this mechanism works. Now I've already done that and I've, I've marked my positions um, with arrows. So I make sure mine are going back together in the right place. But you don't screw these together until you're happy that the mechanism is working correctly. I don't know if you can see on camera but I've got arrows to make sure that uh, I'm getting them back in the right position otherwise I'd have to mess about again. But this is important, don't screw them together until you've got the mechanism working. Now, the holes I drilled for the 12mm doweling were very very tight to start with um, and that allowed me to just adjust them until I got it all working and once I got it all working I drew these arrows took them apart and then screwed them back together with the arrows matching so the next thing is I can slot that onto there It doesn't matter, it'll go on that side actually. Um, so the next thing is these two, and again, I've got arrows as to where these are going to fasten. So this goes through the side and through there. That one goes through. And it goes through that side there. So I can bring mine up where the hole is and I can then fit a screw to hold that in the right position and I can then fit a screw on the other side Like I said, these two pieces as well, don't screw them in till you know it, the mechanism is fully working. So there, the, the tube of Smarties is going to drop into there and then it will go round and finally it will come out the bottom. So if I have a look here, I've got that. Now I can slide this on. Clear the mechanism. And again. This can be a little bit fiddly. I 
it's actually a bit more fiddly for me because I'm, I'm trying to use holes that are already drilled. So now hopefully you can see and understand how the mechanism works. Now the next thing is to put this screw into here. Which is going to stop this lever from going down too far. So hopefully, drop a coin in and it holds in that position. That has unlocked the wheels which can now be turned. Now as you see it's lifting this which ejects the coin. That has now dropped down onto the top of the wheel which allows it to turn. And if we turn it round you'll see that the sweets will now be coming round and they were locked again. Coin in, it's held there. Turn the lever which manoeuvres this up to allow the coin to drop out. That's turned enough now so that this is resting on top of the wheel. Follows the wheel round and then locks it off. Without a coin in, it won't work. With a coin in, it will work. So that is the actual mechanism for the vending machine, the thing that makes it all work. Now, a couple more parts that are not on the plan, um, because I'm, I'm not showing you how to build the box. box that I've built I'm not dismantling because to do so would spoil all the paintwork. It is just just a box. Um, just butt jointed at the corners. Yeah, so the box is just butt jointed at the corners and then a door put on Obviously there's a slot for the uh, coin, there's a coin reject slot and at the bottom there's uh, the where the smarties come out. Also inside we have the this bit of the coin mechanism. Now this, um, I'm not showing you how to make it because there is a video already on YouTube. Um, I've forgotten the name of the guy who who, who does this. But I'll put a link in the description um, so that you can um, see how he makes this. And basically, when a coin goes on, it rolls to the back and falls down the coin slot, which you've already seen. If you put too small a coin in, it comes through this edge down into an ejection slot. And if you put a too big a coin, it's forced up this way and falls off. So that's a really good mechanism. I'll put a link in the description. Um, so that's uh, that's basically it for the case. Right so here now we have the uh, mechanism back in its case. Um, the additional bits which is this um, slope is the um, reject mechanism so if a coin falls through it will hit that come down into into here um, down at the bottom I've added this piece which these these are not on the plans because it will depend on your case as to how you do these 
but this is just a piece of of um, 12 millimeter plywood and it's screwed onto the angle there so the the sweets fall down and here we've got just a box made up of 12 millimeter plywood that uh, slots in there so just swap hands with the camera so now when I put a coin in let's have a look put a coin in it will roll to the back lift the mechanism you can now turn the mechanism and the coin goes into the the bin and if I shut the door and lock it you can see now the slot at the top here for the coin mechanism turn the handle and the coin goes in. The handle again it's just um, made out of wood uh, again if you look on YouTube there's plenty of people with videos showing you how to make this type of a handle uh, the key I just got a cheap lock and key off eBay and, uh, and fitted that right well that's the uh, the vending machine made so as I say two pence coin and there we go the grandchildren can get themselves a nice pack of Smarties so I hope you have a go at this if you do like I said earlier put some pictures or a video post it to the um, to YouTube so that other people can uh, can see what you've done and uh, and enjoy thanks for watching